The first day of school for traditional calendar students in Wake County is a week and a half away, and the state's largest school system will start another year with a staff shortage. Right now, Wake County has 401 teacher openings, 266 bus driver positions are unfilled. WRO's Matt Tallhelm is live outside Dillard Drive Elementary in Raleigh with how these shortages will affect parents and students. Matt. Yeah, Gerald, today is the first work day for teachers, so they've been inside the schools here setting up their classrooms. School staff will have to rotate around to cover positions when there's not a teacher in the classroom, but the biggest staff shortage is happening here in the bus loop. Full of shining stars. I love that I get to like it. Maggie Rabel is ready for her first graders to fill the classroom at the new Barton Pond Elementary School in Raleigh. I'm excited for them to come in the classroom. I get to sit beside them and open a book with them and be there one on one. She started her teaching career virtually during the pandemic. I have the best job ever. I get to wake up, motivate, educate and just like have fun with my kids. Rabel is one of nearly 12,000 teachers Wake County Public Schools need to start the new school year. Right now, they're short about 400. Positions that may not normally be classroom positions at a school can be used to cover those positions. You know, teachers just filling in where they can, helping with lesson plans. The 3.4% vacancy rate for teachers is up slightly from the start of last school year. In the cafeteria, 12.5% of positions are unfilled. More than 30% of bus driver jobs remain open. That shortage is forcing the school system to pack more students onto fewer routes. Instead of running one route, a bus very likely could run two or three. And so that's why sometimes, in some cases, we have to get the students to school as much as 40 minutes earlier. Last fall, a bus driver sick out sent parents scrambling for a backup plan when a third of the routes couldn't run. A few weeks later, parents and restaurants delivered lunches after a sick out by cafeteria workers at 32 schools. Since then, the school system has raised pay and offers bonuses. WREL Education Insider Emily Walkenhorse has been tracking the vacancies for more than a year. Hey, Increases uh, have coincided with instructional assistant vacancy rates improving um, and school cafeteria vacancy rates improving. But it's gotten worse for the bus driver situation. 615 bus drivers are on staff right now for 584 routes. But the school system says any given day, 10% of those drivers can be out. So that means there's not enough drivers to run all of those routes. They are warning parents to prepare for that, that there may be canceled buses. They say you should download the Where's the Bus app that you have or Here Comes the Bus app. That way you can track those buses. Also, keep in touch with your school for any last minute changes. Yeah, parents have a little time to make contingency plans just in case. Matt Tallhelm live in Wake County. Thank you, Matt.